The things we own tell a unique story of our past, present, and what we hope for the future. In The Sims 4, we can tell our Sims' story through the kind of house they inhabit and how it's decorated. We'll be picking up again with the Hardy family, Prisha, Freddy, and their two girls, Robin and Uma. If you want to learn more about them, please check out the other video in this series, How to Tell a Story Through Create a Sim. The exterior of their house took me quite some time, but I ultimately decided on an American house, something that is very typical to see on most streets in the United States. This exterior of normalcy and respectability is indicative of what Prisha wants for herself and her girls, but nevertheless, her spellcaster roots end up shining through in the interior. No matter what she does, she can't hide who she is. The kitchen is always an interesting room. I feel like so much happens when a family comes together for a meal, and it was important to me to not only have it slightly separated so that it would be a separate place to go to for private conversations, but also have it be a part of the rest of the house. For colors and patterns, I wanted it to have rich jewel tones, a little unexpected from the more normal exterior. Having a kind of lush decadence was important to me, since both Prisha and Freddy came from wealthy families. For building the story into this house, the exterior needed to reflect the normalcy and standard suburban life that this family wants to project. The interior, though, focuses on depth and mystery, relayed through color and object choice. Although Prisha has a number of magical artifacts around, I suspect that she tells Freddy that she is just a bit superstitious or new agey, and he never really thinks to look further. He trusts her, even though sometimes it feels like she's not telling him everything. While making this house, I also focused on the potential for family gameplay moments. By that I mean that when making layout and decorating choices, I thought about the kind of gameplay I wanted to occur within the house. I wanted to be able to have quiet conversations in the kitchen, family evenings in the living room, days spent in the garden together, learning how to grow plants and do woodworking. There's a piano since I imagine that one of the girls takes piano lessons, and they have a playroom so that their friends can come over easily and tell each other secrets away from Prisha and Freddy. I decided early on in arranging the living room layout that this family wouldn't have a television. Instead, their living room would be centered around the hearth. They would read books and do crafts in the evenings. They aren't the most traditional people in the world. Freddy and Prisha are the kind to do rather than to watch, after all, and they want to raise their girls to do the same. The girls' bedroom is downstairs and a bit separate from their parents. They have an inner bedroom and an outer playroom, as I mentioned before. I wanted their upbringing to be a little traditional in some respects, with curfews and rules, chores and lessons. It's important to Prisha, after all, that her girls have that normalcy, that her own upbringing was lacking. Upstairs, the entire floor is a bedroom for Prisha and Freddy. Downstairs is all jewel tones and vibrancy, but upstairs is more muted browns, whites, and creams. There's a bonsai tree for them to work on in the evenings, and a little meditation nook for Prisha in the mornings. I suspect that eventually, she'll be teaching the girls as well, to help them harness their budding powers, and eventually, she may teach them how to center themselves in the backyard, as the sun sets behind them. I did a few last final touches, curtains, the sign for shoes to be taken off once visitors enter the house, some more little activities, and then the house is ready for inhabitants at last. When the family enters the house for the first time, we can see what a typical day for them might be like. It's a Sunday, mid-morning, so it's about time for Prisha and Robin to head to the garden, and Freddy to head to his woodworking. Uma, meanwhile, spends her time alone in the playroom, drawing and dreaming up stories in her head. At noon, Prisha calls up the grocery store for delivery, and when it arrives, she and Uma make lunch for the family. Freddy washes up from a morning of woodworking, but Robin refuses, too busy fooling around outside to stop before she has to. 
after lunch, the family disperses and Prisha thinks, would it hurt to just magic the dirty dishes away? The house is set up to allow for these moments and this type of routine for the family. Every part of a build designed around gameplay should facilitate that gameplay and make the kind of story you want to tell easier. If you want to tell a story of hidden secrets, you have to provide spaces both for those secrets to grow and for those secrets to be revealed. I hope this video provided you with some ideas on how to tell a story through build mode. If you missed the first video on how to tell a story through create a sim, please see that in the info card above. My name is Sarah, also known as Witchling Simmer, and I make narration and whims-based rotational gameplay let's plays, how-to videos, and some various other content as my heart wants. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day! Bye!